before you go, and we get another view from Douglas Holtzakin on uh, another matter entirely for you. You called us off the air yesterday after hearing something that a guest said about President-elect Obama and missile defense. John Bennett from the Defense News, newspaper covering the military, was talking about Obama's position in favor of a Star Wars-type missile defense if it's proven to work. And Russia, as we all know, is very upset about the Bush plan to deploy such missiles to uh, Poland and threatening to put arms on the border. Obama has to decide now whether to go through with it. And on that point, and referring to Poland, John Bennett said this. The Polish prime minister made some comments over the weekend that seems to indicate uh, that um, Senator Obama has attempted to reassure him that after the Russian uh, comments and actions last week that he is prepared to, to move forward with the plans. So I think that's, that's an indication that you know, the Polish prime minister just, you know, he would not make a comment like that unless he had, um, you know, had to go ahead from the president-elect. So it, you have to wonder what Russia is up to. Are they trying to, to force us? into doing this to escalate uh, for national pride reasons uh, to say, you know, here come the big bad Americans. They're, right. They're well, I hope order. Obama doesn't decide to deploy a weapon system that he doesn't believe in just to prove America's manhood. And then we said goodbye to John Bennett from the military, uh, from the Defense News, which covers the military. And Katrina Vanden Heuvel, why did that lead you to uh, give us a call? Well, I think that the Cold War has... Uh, ended in Moscow, but not in Washington. And I think, Brian, what you said is so true. First of all, the missile defense program has never been proven to work. Joseph Sirensoni, an expert on this, uh, has said this is one of the great frauds and scams of our time. This country has wasted $150 billion over 25 years. More important, however, the citizens of the Czech Republic and Poland don't want this system. Secondly, the key, the radical underpinning here is the rollback of the treaties to reduce nuclear weapons under the Bush administration, the ABM, the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty, an underpinning, part of a bipartisan web of nuclear agreements was rolled back. We need to restore that. And Barack Obama has the ability, his first instinct after the Russian-Georgian conflict, which the New York Times reported was started by Russia, that needs to be chronologically established, was diplomatic. He was pushed in the vortex of the campaign by John McCain and some of Barack Obama's advisors to be more militaristic. But uh, Barack Obama understands the role Russia could play in reducing the nuclear dangers of this world, reducing nuclear proliferation, rebuilding a series of agreements. You need Russia to deal with Iran, combat terrorism, not escalate in Afghanistan. And finally, Barack Obama, like Henry Kissinger, George Shultz, Bill Perry, has spoken to the building of a nuclear-free world, the abolition of nuclear weapons. So I think all of his instincts are good, and let us hope people who say he needs to test his manhood in terms of foreign policy understood that, understand there's a larger manhood, sisterhood, that needs peace, sanity, and justice, and smart diplomacy. And we'll get a longer take on Obama and the Middle East and the Muslim world and the small, violent jihad uh, sliver of the Muslim world coming up later in the show from Fawaz Georges, Sarah Lawrence, Middle East Studies professor. But just to zero in for one final thing, what do you make of the Obama position that that exchange with John Bennett was, was based on? The Obama position on his campaign website throughout the campaign is that missile defense, if it's proven to work, is something that he would support. Is that just a way of not taking a position or setting up an excuse for saying no because he'll take your position and say it's not been proven to work? Is, is he trying to tell us anything that has meaning there? You know, Brian, I think for too long too many Democrats have been cowed into a position where uh, it's about sort of technocracy. If it doesn't work, then we're against it. We need to take a more serious position, which is that any b ballistic missile systems are not part of the future uh, part, it's security of this world. That they're n it's not part of the challenges we need to face in the 21st century. I would rather focus on holding Barack Obama's feet to the fire and accountable to the talks he he's given about real nuclear nonproliferation and rebuilding this series of treaties. All right. Katrina Vanden Heuvel, editor and publisher of The Nation. You can read her stuff at thenation.com. Oh, by the way, I don't know if this is meant to... Um, compete with the nation, but uh, they're handing out on the streets of New York today copies of a fake New York Times. It, it looks like the real New York Times. They've taken the actual logo. I don't know if they're going to get sued for that or what, 
but its um, date is Saturday, July 4th, 2009. And this is kind of a progressive wish list New York Times. The big headline, Iraq War Ends. Uh, other front page headline, Nation Sets Its Sights on Building Sane Economy. Another one, Maximum Wage Law Succeeds. Treasury announces True Cost Tax Plan. Ex-Secretary apologizes for WMD scare. Did you see this? I saw this, and I think this is the newspaper we should just keep holding and read as we move to July 4th, 2009, because this – by the way, Brian, I don't think this is – I think you said progressive. I think this is the majority position in the country today, Iraq war ends. That's what this election was about. 